Hi all, this is Zain from Flipkart's University Relations team and I'm here to welcome you to our first ever Flipkart Runway podcast series where you'll have last season's Runway participants talk about their experiences plus sharing tips which will help you to get on the runway to success. Today, we have with us Ms. Bursamarin who is an undergraduate engineering student specializing in computer science from MNIT Allahabad. She has participated in the first edition of the runway and she secured an internship of at Flipkart for the summer of 2022 via the program. Welcome, Bursam Ren. Hi, Zan. Thanks for setting this up. It's always great to give back to the student community. And I hope by the end of this talk, I'll be able to answer most of the questions that students might have in their minds related to this program. I'm sure uh, they'll get to know that plus more. In fact, for the audience, let me share what is the agenda for today's podcast. Uh, we'll be covering primarily two areas, which is how to prepare for the online assessment, which is kind of a screening test. And also, secondly, to get an idea of what is the interview process like and maybe have some tips from you. But before we do that, a quick call out that the registrations for Runway Season 2 are in progress and are scheduled to end on 26th of March 2022. If you have not registered so far, you can register. The link is in the description box of the video. So now coming back to the experience, uh, starting with the online assessment, uh, I'm sure the audience here wants to know that how did you prepare? There was no precedent. Uh, it was the first season and probably all you had as a guiding light was what was given on there to compete uh, in the description section where it would probably have been mentioned that, hey, you have to uh, prepare for CS fundamentals and other stuff. So how did you do it and what would you recommend to aspiring film engineers? Okay, so for the online assessment, we were told that it would be an MCQ one and it would be majorly focusing on the CS4 subject. So what I did was that for the subjects that I knew before, I just went through my notes to brush them up. And for the subjects that had not yet been covered, I referred notes available on Boots for Beats. And there are also quite a few good YouTube channels which I referred during my preparation. Uh, once I was done with all these subjects, the next thing which I did was to search for top 50 MCQ questions for each subject. Uh, this really helped me in brushing up all the concepts and I'm sure it would help all the other aspirants too and it would boost their confidence as well. I'm sure I think practice is what makes one perfect and uh, that really helped you then. So what about the next step because I'm sure, uh, you know, clearing the initial hurdle is definitely the first important step. Step two becomes that now that I've cleared the online assessment, how do I prepare for interviews? Because again, I assume it would be the first ever interview that you may have given uh, either on campus or off campus uh, since it was the second year of your engineering course itself. So how did you go about it? How did you prepare? If you can share some lights on that, I think that's something uh, will be beneficial for the audience as well. Uh, well, um, uh, the interviews are really important to prepare for and uh, it will not help students for only the runway program but even for other contests, other on-campus or off-campus opportunities they will have in the coming future. So how I started my interview preparation was that firstly I read about the company uh, then I started reading blogs and watched videos of other aspirants so that I could get familiar with the format of the interview followed at Flipkart. Uh, we also got an email from Flipkart uh, regarding the whole interview structure. And once I was familiar with the interview structure, what I did next was to focus on DSA. Uh, I kept practicing on the same coding platforms that I was using earlier and I started revising all the DSA concepts as well. Uh, I started from basic DSA stru uh, data structures and then moved to the advanced and then finally the algorithm section. Uh, here I would like to give uh, one tip to all the aspirants that uh, you should focus more on the topics you feel that you're less confident in. Uh, it would help you gain more confidence and you'll feel uh, not hesitant on the final day. Uh, 
thanks for simran uh, but i'm sure uh, uh, the audience would also want to know uh, what were the questions that were asked to you during your interview because when we talk about data structures and algorithms uh, the scope of questions can be from varying types right like from trees graphs etc so if you can share what type of questions were asked to you uh, also any tips for uh, the audience because for many of the students uh, who are aspiring to get onto the runway program and secure both internships for 2022 as well as 2023 uh, these aspects will be very crucial okay so uh, if i talk about my very first interview at flipkart uh first question was related to dynamic programming and it the question continued around 30 to 35 minute discussion and after that i was asked a question based on prior data structure uh this was all about the very first round and in the second round at flipkart i was asked a question related to heap and the second question i don't remember as of now but uh one thing which i noticed from the interview uh, was that it was your approach they were trying to get in the way you are expressing and uh, don't feel uh, hesitant because the interviews mm. interviewers really try to help you out uh, they are not like anyone you should be like professors or something you should be scared about they are very helpful kind they were telling you yes here at this point you are thinking right and if you were going in a wrong direction they were also hinting at that uh, given hints at that point okay. and yeah uh, now answering your second question that uh, the tips which i would like to give so based on my experience and ones that i have read so far uh, there are few tips which i would like to share with the aspirants uh firstly be an active listener uh you don't need to jump to the conclusions immediately uh try to listen to your question very carefully read it calmly and in case if you have any doubts or have any confusions uh feel free to ask it from the interviewer and clear it at that point itself uh the next major thing in an interview is that you should be able to communicate your entire thought process to the interviewer uh now if you are wondering how to do so uh well then you need to start practicing thinking aloud uh either you can do it alone or if you have a coding buddy uh you can do it in pairs as well so this point is really important because more than knowing the answers uh it's your approach that gets you point in an interview so do focus on this point and also you can go for a mock interview uh if you feel so you can ask your friends or your seniors to take one for you uh these are all the tips that i had in my mind to share with the aspirant and i would really encourage all the budding women engineers to participate in this program uh no matter if you don't make through it uh but the experience that you will gain in will surely help you in the long run so do participate in this thanks gursimran i think uh, really echo with your thoughts on mock interviews i think they really really help uh, the way a person thinks that the interview will go or how a person feels that hey uh, this is how i sound when you have a third person or even if you record yourself on uh, say a google meet or a zoom and then listen to yourself you will find a lot of things to improve and if you as you rightly said if you have a coding buddy uh, i think that's something which is really really helpful not just for uh, mock interviews but even for uh, practicing uh, questions as well uh, and i'm sure the students may have additional questions for you after they watch this podcast so If there are questions which come up in the comment section, we will definitely route it to you, Prasenjan. And uh, once again, on behalf of Flipkart and the Runway uh, community, thank you so much for being here with us. To all the audience out there, once again, uh, reiterating: if you are a 2024 batch women engineer in either UG or a dual degree course, you can apply for Runway, via which you will be eligible not just for internships in 2022 and 2023. but also this year we have curated uh, a program 
for all participants where you continue getting some learnings throughout the journey if you're part of the group plus uh, for the main cohort there are scholarships as well this year uh, which would help in accelerating and supporting your journey as you continue your path to becoming a successful engineer and there will be more videos which will follow so do not forget to like and subscribe to like flipkart and see you soon in the next video thank you everyone